Oh, do you hear them? Ooh, honey. Honey. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, everybody. I am filming all the dog fights. <laughs> It is that time of year where the Hummers have to migrate and they're already territorial aggressive little buggers to each other. But now with migrating they really fight over the food. Pretty hilarious. Ani's loving this. And because they're fearless, sometimes they come over and stare at Ani. Because he's here. He's just loving this show. I got a video earlier that I put up of a curious summer that came right up staring at him. That was very cool. It sucked that we were in the aviary though, so there were bars between us. Then maybe they'll come up and say hello today, but I don't know, they're pretty occupied with each other, aren't they? My goodness. You could, do you hear them when they buzz by? We get dive bombed often. <laughs> They don't, they don't peck or do anything to us, but they come up within like 12 inches and stare at us, trying to intimidate us. Yeah. What is that, Ani? It's not a hawk. I'm not quite sure what that sound is. Now that little might have been. The Hummers make hilarious, adorable bickering sounds. Hopefully I'll be able to get it on this so you can hear because there's no way to describe it. He's talking so much, aren't you, honey? Uh-huh. Oh. Uh-huh. I believe that's a female. And we know that because they're ruby-throated hummers. Uh-oh. Trouble. And the males have bright red, pretty throats. That is a crow. And I can't believe this guy's just perching there. They don't do that. I'm not sure why, but it's not normal in their behavior. Probably it leaves them vulnerable to predators. Maybe that's why. Uh oh, I hear another one. It's coming. Yeah, I mean, we might have a dog fight here. Dog fight coming on. Huh? Did you hear that? Uh, I can't describe the sound. Chittering. That's what it sounds like. Chittering. 
Oh my goodness, what is up with the crows? And Alexa's not going to help you out here, honey. Huh? <laughs> what? Alexa's not going to do anything out here. She's in the house. She's in the house. No, you're not doing that. Yeah. Wee. No. Yeah, I hope you haven't been chewing that while I've been watching these hummers. I want to turn around to see where the crows are, but usually you can't see them because they're within the trees anyway. And I'm trying to talk. Yeah, I think Annie's looking at them. Yeah. Now, if you want to attract hummers, this helps. They like the color red. Got a big red plant here. Doesn't have to be this big, but you know, a red plant or two, or red ribbon. That can that can help. Don't get the uh, red juice that they sell for them. I know it's hard to believe. Did you hear that? That's them. The chittering. And uh, because it's very bad for them, it hurts their kidneys. I know that's hard to believe because they sell this specifically for them, but it's true. It's better to give them sugar water. I give them like half a cup of sugar and I fill the rest till it's four cups. So I guess that's a one to three ratio. And Ani is playing with his spitball. Yeah. It's one of his favorite things to do. He actually has a little spitball in there. I hope the camera switched around fast enough to see that. I'm out here. The sun is right on the screen. I can barely see what I'm filming. Do you hear him? I was hoping to get some real dog fights out here. And they fight midair right in front of those feeders. We don't seem to be getting on. Oh, did you see more? Yeah. That is called beak grinding. Birds do that kind of when they're tired and very, very peaceful. Oh, you got another spitball? It's peaceful out here. It sounds like all the cicadas are gone. Because they're loud in the south. 
Bonnie, it'd be nice if you talked on your own and not when I talk. Because I want to hear what you're saying. I really do.